guys welcome back to another tasty miss another day in the life another package of order videos i am back i is this i mean it's kind of a day in the life video y'all actually got up super late <laughs> i need to plug my computer and i need to go get my charger because i didn't realize it was about to die but i'm off today and i got orders to do i'm down to the last 30 so i just wanted to come on here you know and show you guys chat with you guys even though y'all necessarily can't chat back i'm not really prepared for this video so please bear with me because i don't got no boxes preps i don't got like i'm really not prepared for this video we just gonna go with the flow and y'all gonna see like the real life <laughs> packaging orders because i'm not really prepared usually i have boxes prep I really got to clean. And like I stated before, I have to empty my purse rack out. And y'all, I actually decided, I don't know if this is going to be posted before I make the announcement or not. I Tasty Cosmetics, as far as 2021, will be strictly lashes and lash-related items. As far as the lash-related items I'll be selling, I'm not sure. Like, I, y'all know I have the lash applicators, the lash glue, the liner pens, um, boxes, but as far as 2021 goes, I want to keep it strictly lashes. And I'm going to make Bundle Mania Beauty the purse, shades, and slides business website. So I, I feel like that would be better just because I can't order more variety of purses. And I'm not really as limited, if that makes sense. I just, I just want to keep everything separated. And it's like, I like, it's like, it's not, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I like... I've always wanted I Tasty to be strictly lashes. Like I stated earlier, if you've been following me, that's the first thing I started selling wholesale. That's the main thing I sell. The purses and lashes is the main thing I sell. So why not create two big businesses that sell both of the two top things that I require? And I already have Bundle Mania Beauty and that's a business I'm working on with somebody else, but I'd rather make that to where we can invest more money and have more variety of purses and take over the, the purse business versus just having limited because I'm not able to advertise as much because I sell like a lot of different stuff. So it's kind of hard, you know, when you sell different stuff, it's kind of hard to post. If you sell just lashes, for example, you could post different lash styles, different pictures with you on, with your customers with it on. With me selling all this stuff, it's kind of hard. I really don't know what to post most times on my Instagram. So I'm so excited. So I will be doing a purse sale. I don't know if this video is going to be uploaded before or after the fact, but the goal is to have this entire rack cleared completely so I can start fresh and, and order new for Bundle Mania Beauty, okay? <laughs> but I need to prep boxes. And the funny thing is I don't even have any boxes near me. So I'm actually going to go get some boxes. I'm going to wet my sponge for the labels. I'm going to get my charger for my MacBook because it's about to die. I actually wanted to work on the orders that I don't need <laughs> a see like this order i can do but i will be right back guys okay guys so i am back <laughs> i'm back i think i got everything i needed i know i got my charger i went and got some boxes and this person right here they ordered my lash brushes they ordered two packs of the dark pink uh i'm not sure if i'm still gonna be selling these moving forward like it's just a cute lash brush other than just a spoolie I don't know if I'm gonna be selling these moving forward. They did really good when I first, um, dang, what's going on with my bubble wrap? They did really good when I first came out with them, like when I first launched them on my site. But then after it kind of like slowed down, it was like I was sold out of them. Then I restocked and then it hasn't been doing as good as the first time. So I don't know if I'm gonna be restocking them or not. And I just like to, because these are fragile items, even though I'm putting them in bubble mailers, these are one of those items that I like to just make sure it's secure for sure and, and wrap it again. So I'm just putting it in here. I'm putting it in my blue bubble mailer. I don't know what I do with my business cards, y'all. Put a business card in here. Put the weight in. And I have, like I always state in all these videos, I have very, very, very detailed packaging order videos package it orders with me this is just a, just a chat package with me i have very detailed package and order videos longer ones that you can see exactly my packaging is not really anything extravagant because i am a wholesaler my business 
Oh, I forgot to plug my Rolo in. My business is not really a brand. Like, it's a brand, but it's not branded, if that makes sense. Ooh. It's a brand, but it's not branded. Like, I can't really brand my business the way I, a, a brand could, like a Tarte or a Anastasia Beverly Hills could because I'm a wholesaler and I'm a supplier. So I can't really brand my business the way I want to because I'm a wholesaler. <laughs> but y'all, this paper got stuck. But yeah, so I'm just printing out the label. I don't know what happened. I guess the... Like I said, every time I try to record a package and order video, something wants to show out, whether it's the printer, whether it's the, the computer, something be trying to show out every time I wanna do one of these videos. And see, it didn't print out right. Like, I can't even really show y'all how it printed out because I can't show y'all her address. But it's not printing the label right. Like, it's crossing off her address, kind of. And I don't know why it's acting like that. I don't know why it's showing out for the camera, you guys. And of course, people decide to hit me up when I'm recording, as always. But I don't know why it's looking like that. Let's try this again, y'all. But I actually need to go get more label paper from downstairs because I did run out. I did run out of the label paper for my Rolo printer. Why is it printing out like that, y'all? Like, I'm gonna just cover her address, but like it got a dent right there. And this is a brand new printer at that. This is a brand new printer. Maybe I need to turn it off and put it back on. See, y'all seeing the real life uncut drama that I have to go to go through. It's like, even if you have five to 10 orders, which I do have 30, I think I have about 30 left. It's like, even if you have, if, uh, doing orders is not as easy as it looks because stuff just be happening and you just be like now that's slowing me down because I could have been done and been on to the next two or three orders and now I got to figure out what's wrong with my Rolo printer and why it's playing games with me like why is it showing out in front of the camera because I'm not putting a label on my order that looks like that I don't need no reason for the post office to not ship the order correctly i don't need no problems it's still doing this y'all but it's getting better this one looks more decent than the previous one but i feel like you still can't read the her address i'm gonna keep printing this stuff out until it looks how i want it to look okay this looks a lot better this looks a lot better but like i said i just want everything i just don't want no problems let me make sure this stuff is straight going in the printer. I could have been down to the next couple of orders already, but my printer wanna play games with me. Okay, this looks way better. Of course, like I said, people trying to call me like, why are you calling me when I'm recording a video? Don't do that. Do not do that. You had all morning to call me, but you wait till I'm recording a video to want to call me. Anyways, I packaged that same order, y'all, because we've still been on the same one order. I'm putting my fragile stickers on there just to make sure, and it is kind of more secure. So let's see the next order. I'm trying to get, I usually try to get all the, because I told y'all before, I always work out of order. So I try to get the easy orders out the way if that makes sense. I just be trying to get the easy orders out the way with just one or two items versus all this stuff that I have to count and be more tedious with. I'd rather get the just quick, put it in the bag orders out the way. So I'm trying to see, cause I know somebody ordered just a black purse. So I'm trying to get that order when I can find it. Where is it? <laughs> And, and okay, this person ordered a black purse and they ordered a red purse. I don't even have those big boxes near me. I gotta go. Oh no, I do got a big box. I got a big box over there. So she ordered a black purse, y'all, and she ordered a red purse. So let me get the red purse. And let me get a black purse that's in the plastic. 
And with the black purses, I just like to open it up and make sure that it's black because there's been times before I mixed up the black and the navy. So she ordered black, she ordered red, she ordered a L508, 509, 503. 508, 503, 509. She ordered a H109, 632, and 502. 502. So she ordered two purses and then she ordered six pairs of lashes. So that's eight items in total. So I'm just going to wrap this. Where do I cut it at? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I cut it at. It's just going to cut right there. I just want to make sure that this is protected. So I'm going to do that. Put my business card in there. Weigh it on my scale. It's about five pounds. And where is my tape? Where's my sticker mule tape? I don't know how it ended up on the floor, but. Got, I'm gonna cut my little tape. And like I said, this is the raw uncut. I usually don't, I usually don't package orders in this way, y'all. If y'all have seen my package and orders videos, before then y'all know this is not how i usually package my orders but i'm just trying to get this stuff done usually i do it in a more organized and efficient way but at this time like right now it's already one o'clock i do want to take these to the post office i don't know if i'm going to be able to go today or tomorrow after work last time i went to the post office after work y'all i was on that line for an hour a whole hour I had all those packages <laughs> and I was, um, those people were so mad. And like, by the time I left there, cause my local post office closes at 430. I got there at about like 350, but I was there till, I want to say almost five o'clock. <clears throat> like the line. Okay. It's printing out more decent. It's still cutting off my address. I don't know why it's doing that. But, um, but yeah, I was on the line for almost an hour because the line was already, the line was wrapped around to where the PO boxes are. That's how long the line was first off. And then, um, by the time they got to me and then I was there skinning all those packages because child, I'm not leaving them with my packages without getting my receipt. <laughs> That's what y'all not gonna do is say I didn't bring it. <laughs> like what? Okay, so this person here just ordered a black purse and I got it right here. Yes, this is black. She ordered a black jelly bag. And I got the box right here. Well, my head is starting to hurt. This is what happens when I I do stuff like this without eating. But like I said, I just be trying to get stuff done. Like, yeah, I got so much stuff to do. I need to go live and, and sell out all these purses. I just got so much stuff to do. So much stuff to do. And not much time. Because I'm going out of town next week for about two weeks. And even during that time, I'm going to be focused on my plans for my business for next year. That's what I'm going to be working towards. I need to start scheduling my posts. Like, I just got so much. Like, y'all feel me? Don't y'all got stuff to that you're so focused on for next year? And I have a video plan that I'm going to do th with that, like, where we discuss, like, what plans we have for our business next year. That's one of my Tasty Miss videos that I want to do. But it's just like, I just got so much stuff I want to do next year that I have to brainstorm and plan out and just write it down. Because you I got to write it down. I can't just sit here and talk about it like right now. I literally got to sit down 
and brainstorm all the stuff I want to do with my business next year. But that order is done, guys. Um, this person ordered 50 tubes. So, but uh, uh, this person, let me see. I'm trying to go through and see what other orders I can do. But yeah, y'all, like, what are y'all planning? We're going to talk about this. I'm not even going to tell y'all to comment because we're going to say that for the, the, the actual video that I had planned that we're going to discuss all the stuff that I was just about to say. But I just got so much stuff to do. I got this area to clean out. I got my racks to clean out. I really want to start fresh. I'm ready to move. I'm ready, but I'm not ready. Like, I'm really scared at the same time, which is why I've been kind of putting everything off. But I'm scared, but at this, I'm ready, but I'm scared because it's, it's just like, it's a whole big commitment, y'all. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Like, <laughs> I'm so scared. But let me get this person's lashes. They ordered one of each of the 25 mm lashes. They also ordered a liner pen and a lash glue. So I'm about to get their lash glue. Now, the L13s, I do not have these near me. I got to get it out the box real quick. So, I'm going to get, no, I don't have the L9s near me. So, I'm about to go get me the L9 and then the tubes for my other oil. Y'all, I was talking to y'all this whole time and I realized that it wasn't even recording. <laughs> it wasn't even recording this entire time, but y'all... I went and got the lash I was missing for that order. So she ordered five pairs of my 25 mm lashes. She ordered the liner pen as well as my lash glue. I do sell lash glue as well. Where'd it go? If you did not know, I do sell lash glue as well. My lash glue is literally just like duo glue is clear. It, it's just like duo glue. Because duo glue is the glue I was using before I bought my lash glue. And people said it's better than duo glue. I love my lash glue. Okay, so I'm about to print out the label. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fragile stickers on there. I like to put two to three fragile stickers per package depending on the item just because I like extra protection. Even though the post office ignores it, I still love that extra protection. <laughs> so I'm printing out the label for this one. I can't even see how many more orders I have because Shopify don't be refreshing. Like, it just sits there. It's still saying I got 30 orders when I know I don't. I did like five. I did like five orders. But I know I say this in almost every video, but if you're watching this right now, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you are subscribed, I want to say thank you for being a part of the subby gang. Like... I can't wait to reach 3,000 subscribers. Like, <laughs> when I finally reach, it's gonna be like a little milestone. <laughs> like, oh my God, I really can't wait to reach 5,000, really 10,000. I know, uh, cause you know, we speak positivity over here. I know I'm gonna have 10,000 subscribers next year for sure. But who knows? Who knows how many subscribers I'm gonna have next year. So this next person, they ordered 50 of my gold tubes. This is another item. I will no longer be selling lip gloss and lip gloss related products. Like I said, I'm just sticking to lashes and purses only because those are my two top selling items. I used to sell tubes really like I'd be selling out of tubes. If you've been following me for that long, then you know. When I used to sell tubes, your girl was selling out. It was to the point where people was emailing me on a day-to-day -day basis because ain't nobody was out here selling uh, tubes like that when I was at least. Now it's a whole bunch of more lip gloss tubes vendors and lip gloss vendors. I've never been like a, a big lip gloss vendor. I did I did used to sell lip gloss and I did used to do custom orders for specific customers who reached out to me and I did it for them. But I, I never really did big orders. Like I only did, y'all I'm trying to find my business cards. I need to go grab another box because I don't know where my business cards is at. But I didn't really do big orders, like 100 lip glosses or stuff like that. I did like 20 to 30 glosses orders. I didn't do big ones, which is why I wasn't even on my website. So the customers that reached out to me and wanted those, I did it for them. But nowadays, it's so many business out here selling lip gloss tubes, lip gloss pre-filled, lip gloss, all types of stuff. So like I said, it's lots of people out here, so it's no need 
my my lane is lashes lashes is my lane and that's what i want to stick to is my lashes like i said my lashes and purses as far as this wholesaling goes that's my lane so that's what i'm gonna stick to i want to add more stuff to bundle mania beauty oh i know whose order this is i want to add more stuff to bundle mania beauty since it i want it to be like a little wholesaling boutique I really don't know because even with those headbands that I used to sell, I'm trying to see, even with those headbands that I used to sell, they sold, but then they stopped selling. And that's how really a lot of things I sell go. Like I'll, I'll, I'll launch a new item on my website. People will shop and it will sell out. Then I'll restock and might sell out again. And then like the third or fourth time I re like restock. It just don't sell like it was anymore. And then I end up just discounting it and getting rid of it because I just don't like to sit on top of inventory. Like, I don't like to sit on top of inventory. I don't like to stare at something that's not selling. If it's not selling, you need to go and get off my site. Like, if it's, that's just how I am. I know other people aren't like that, but that's just me personally. I don't like to have an item that's not selling. I just can't do it. So what, what order was I about to work on, y'all? let me see this person what item did they order because it says they just ordered one item okay i'm gonna wait on their order i'm trying to see what orders i can actually knock out okay so this person ordered five everyday lashes so let me go get those she ordered five of the everydays she ordered she ordered five of the everyday lashes she ordered 10 of the 26 f five l508 which i know i got l508 over here so i really don't gotta you know dip into my drawers and she ordered four l503s which i should have over here i got l503s over here and then she ordered 1026 f so i don't think i have any oh no i do have some right here So I'm all, I'm going to put all of these in a bubble mailer because it's 24 lashes and they could all pretty much fit. Here my website goes skipping through stuff. <laughs> About to make me lose the order that I'm looking at. And I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to just make sure that these lashes, she ordered four L503s. I'm just going to make sure that everything is fixed. But yeah, I love selling lashes, y'all. I love lashes. I, I've never even like, I don't know if I've spoke on this on my channel before. I know I've spoken on it on Instagram Live. I was never, I was a purse person when I was younger. Like I always had purses. But as I got older, I became more of a tomboy and I didn't really wear purses like that. But ever since I started selling purses, I got back into it because you got to market your business. You got to have your business on you at all times, whether it's a business card, whether it's wearing your business, you got to have your business on you at all times because life is crazy. This world, even though this world is very big, it's very small. And I noticed that every single day, no matter how big you think this world is, I promise you it's very small. It's, it's very small. It's very small to people you can, you can reach, the people you meet, the people you come into your life. Like this world is very, very small. So I just like to always keep my business on me. I'm gonna kind of run through all these little orders here that I'm working on because this video is kind of getting a little long and y'all probably tired of me talking. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward some of this video and then I will see you guys at the end when I am done.